Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for uh, being part of this uh, platform. Uh, today, I want us to see how best we can automatically put in the table of content with ease and within a short, within a very short period of time. Okay. Now, number one, ensure that your your your, your whole content or rather your pages are well numbered. Okay, so we ensure that our pages are numbered right from one up to up to the end, or you can still uh, use Roman one, two, three, and so on. So we go and put in our page numbers using uh, the insert option and report our page numbers, possibly at the bottom. Then you choose the different uh, page styles and that. Okay, so ensure that you have page numbers within your work. That's one. Next, uh, we are going to, the key rule when you're putting your automatic page numbers, the secret is within these styles here, okay? Ensure you categorize your headings as heading one. Heading one is the main heading. Maybe like, for example, when you're dealing with chapters, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. So those chapters are basically the heading ones, okay? Then heading two fall below they fall just below the, 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 the chapter headings or the heading one and then heading three like that, okay? So you need to first categorize your work into heading one, two, three, four, up to four. And everything is, everything we are using these styles here. So we are saying heading one is the biggest, heading two smaller, like that, like that. So it's like a subheading under uh, the other bigger heading so we need to start with that so like for example if this is my chapter one if this is my first topic that i'm talking about data communication i highlight data communication and i give it heading one okay then under heading one under that i am talking about data communication terms terms used in data communication these ones i give them possibly heading two so you realize that heading one is having totally a different color difference between those given to headings. So you can pay, you can still uh, put in more other formattings, you can uh, center align and so many, but most importantly, ensure that you have all the heading ones tools uh, well stipulated. So we move on, uh, we have, I have this, I can call this my heading two, okay? Under heading two, okay? Like for example, if I'm talking about data signals, under data signals, I have analog. So these analog signals and digital signals, they become my heading three, okay? Then I proceed, that means that uh, this data signals become my heading three. If I want, I can put these disadvantages and, disadva and disadvantages of analog signals under head heading four and so on. So we proceed and then we data ed communication elements, I can call that heading two. I have all the, the communications there, then the, the tools, I also call them heading two. Okay, then uh, we proceed. So we are basically looking at our headings. We try to categorize them and call them these also heading two. Please don't call anything below anything that you're talking about below that chapter is heading one. Heading one is basically the main thing. So data transmission, uh, transmission media here, under transmission media we have physical and then bound, so meaning this physical and then wireless are going to become my heading three because they are under transmission media. And then I proceed to this, I'm also giving this heading two, okay, and on, on and on in that given format. So you also label the rest of the other information in that given form. Now, once you're done with all that, once you're done with the labeling, I've labeled some others here. So when I say this is now heading one, it means now I'm on to another chapter. I've started another chapter. So now this is my chapter two, or oh, uh, oh, that is another topic altogether that I'm talking about. Okay. Now, after doing that, we come at the beginning of our document. We are now going to put the, the, the table of content. Okay. We are now putting the table of content. So you come to the beginning of your document. Okay. Then we use this option of references. Then we come to table of 
content okay so we have the built-in we have either automatic one automatic two so you can either use either automatic one or automatic two don't use manual manual is when you're trying to put in things directly so you can either choose either this or the other depending on what your what styles you would like to uh, put in so we come and click on this and you see everything will be put in directly so you see that my table you can maybe you can edit you can uh, click inside there and i call it maybe uh table of content okay you can call it table of content and on so you see that data communications and chapter one terms on two like that so you see that everything has been labeled up to my very lasty very lasty chapter okay so this is how you can quickly quickly run through your table of content and you realize that when you move up to the very last one all of them have been very well labeled very well sorted out automatically with ease without necessarily hustling through your uh, table of content insertion right now a question might arise how about if i would like to put in something else um maybe i want to add in another chapter i want to put in something new what do i do so what you do you come and add in your other chapter take an example uh take an example i have this i want to put in another topic as the internet and world wide web and worldwide web that's my next topic so i said most importantly ensure you label your heading give your heading a style is it under heading one is it under two is it under three or so on so this one i can call it it's under heading one because this is now a main topic okay then under that i can talk about maybe the internet okay then I maybe talk about world wide web. Okay, so still I can give internet, maybe I can call it heading two, and be world wide web, I also call it heading two, and so on. So if you want to add it to your table of content, you come back to your head to your table of content at the top here. Then when you click inside, click inside we will see an option of update okay so you come and click on update table of content now we are going to update the entire table so you come and click on update entire table then you click okay so you realize that at the bottom here i have internet added in on page 15 uh world wide web is also there and so many other things added in there so that's how you can simply add in your table of content and you're good to go. Ensure you have page numbers, ensure your content is well organized into chapters and the styles are well laid out. Thank you so much.